Day two, you've learned to write a thematic statement, but how do you justify it? If you don't know what the word justify means, pause the screencast and look it up. Don't forget to add it to your Anki deck. So what is a thematic analysis? Well, let's review what a thematic statement is. If you recall, a thematic statement is how you state what the theme is. It's not uh, just a single word. It's a complete sentence. So this is what I'm looking for when I say, what is the theme? I'm talking about the thematic statement. Remember, some people say that a theme is a word or a phrase. And it's arguable. But when I'm talking about theme, I mean a thematic statement, a sentence that states the message of the story. So when we're doing a thematic analysis, we take that thematic statement and then we analyze it with evidence from the text and an explanation. We do it using the race format. You've probably heard of this before. And if it wasn't race, it was called ace. So we'll get into that, but first let's rewatch For the Birds. And at this point, you can pause the video and then go back. I mean, you can pause the screencast and then watch the video from the Google Slides uh, that are attached because um, I'm going to, uh, I don't want uh, too much time on the screencast. It'll make the file too big. So go ahead and pause it and watch for the birds on the slide that I've attached. All right, so like I said, writing a thematic analysis is basically just your thematic statement, and then you put it into a race structure. So what is a race structure? Well, we restate the question. So we would say, if we're talking about For the Birds, we would just say, the theme of For the Birds is, right? If the question was, what is the theme of For the Birds? You just restate the question, the theme of for the birds is, then you answer the thematic statement. Uh, you answer by putting in your thematic statement. So this is where your thematic statement goes. In this case, it could be cruelty to others is pointless. It will come back around. Then you put your evidence. Now, since we don't have any text, we just paraphrase. Do you know what it means to paraphrase? Could you explain the difference between evidence and a paraphrasing? If not, pause and look up what it means and add it to your Anki. But if we were paraphrasing, we would just say what we observed. The small birds were cruel to the big birds, and in the end, they were the ones who looked different and lost their feathers. Then we have to explain. Now, when we explain, we talk about why the evidence that we chose, okay, relates to our answer. In this case, we can just do it in a sentence. This shows that your actions always have consequences. All right, now I want you to, again, pause the screencast and watch the video Piper. We got another Pixar bird short film for you to watch. Now, working with a partner, I want you to practice writing a complete thematic analysis for the short film Piper. All right? I'm not here, but the sub should be walking around in case you have any questions. Remember, do it in a race format. And you will find on Google Classroom a Google document that has the race graphic organizer all ready to go for you. So all you got to do is open that document, fill it out, and then submit it by the end of the period.